In today's video, I'm going to share 20 tips for photo editing in Photomator. I wish these tips will help you elevate your editing game. Let's dive right in. Kicking things off with tip 1. If you're unsure where to begin editing your photo, try out the ML Enhance feature. It's a fantastic way to get a solid starting point. Now, remember, I don't always use it, especially for color grading adjustments. I like to use ML only on basic adjustment, just for color correction without disturbing the color grading. Moving on to tip two, want to quickly view the original image while tweaking adjustments? Just hit the backslash key. It's a real time saver compared to hunting for that tiny corner icon. Tip three is all about split comparison. Press Ctrl plus C to view your original and edited photos side by side. Original on the left, your edits on the right. Super handy. Tip four is about making straightening a breeze. Don't bother manually adjusting degrees. Auto straighten works like magic. Click the three dots in the crop menu and hit auto straighten. Tip five. You know the rule of thirds overlay, but did you know there are more? Use the O shortcut to cycle through overlays for your compositing needs. Tip six is for speed. Instead of custom cropping the image, use crop presets. Need a one-on-one -on -one aspect ratio for Instagram? Just select square and save time. Tip seven is all about precision. Need to reset a slider value? Skip dragging it to zero, just double click it. Done. Moving on to tip eight. When those slider values feel a bit limiting, here's the trick. Hold down the Option key before you start sliding, and watch the extended values reveal themselves. This works on exposure, brightness contrast, black point, and vibrance values. Tip 9. Ditch the slow mouse drag. Use the Option key along with your mouse wheel to make those 1% increment adjustments. Tip 10 is all about organization. After importing photos, Use arrow keys to navigate in the photo browser. Favorite photos by hitting the period key. Refining your favorites? Navigate with arrows again. Hit period to remove unwanted ones in the favorite view. Time for tip 11, a masking technique. Need to select the foreground? Add a sky mask and invert it. Similar trick for making your subject pop. Add a subject mask. Invert it and tone down the background exposure. Cruising into tip 12. Ever wish you could keep an eye on exactly where your edits are landing? Say hello to the mask overlay. But wait, it disappears once you start adjusting, right? Not anymore, just hit O to make that mask overlay appear. Tip 13, let's talk about that glow. Easily achieved by adding a radial mask and tweaking the black point. Watch your photo transform. Tip 14, targeting the sky. When you only want to affect clouds and their reflection, ditch the sky mask. Use a color range mask instead. Precision at its finest. Tip 15, looking for a dreamy effect? Dial down the clarity. Instantly add that artistic touch to your photos. Tip 16, diving into shadows. To soften those shadows, raise the left point in the curves adjustment. Tip 17, playing with color. Take control with selective color adjustment. Adjust the mountains and sky by tweaking the blue brightness. Enhance the foreground by boosting greens. Keep an eye on the saturation. By increasing brightness, the saturation gets reduced so sometimes it is a good practice to compensate for that. Tip 18. Sometimes clarity isn't for the whole image. Enter selective clarity adjustment. Just target specific areas like those majestic trees by selecting only shadows. Tip 19. The art of color balance. Create a color grading masterpiece by shifting highlights towards orange and shadows towards blue. Hello teal and orange vibes. Lastly, tip 20, the vignette effect, two ways. Add the effect itself or try this. Radial mask, drag to edges, invert and decrease exposure. 
I hope you found these tips as exciting and useful as I do. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future tutorials. Until next time.